Hello and welcome to the sixth section, Unit Testing with Mocha. In the previous section, we learned how to serve and consume RESTful APIs. In this section, we will learn how to test our applications. First, we will learn what is unit testing, what is testing-driven development, and what benefits testing provides. We will learn what is Mocha what is char, and how to write tests. We will then understand what is a spy, what is a stub, and how to fake timers. Then we will learn what is Simon.js, what is a mock, and how to test our applications. Last but not least, we will learn what is Karma, how to configure it, and how to test our applications in the browser. Now we move on to the first video of this section that deals with unit testing and TDD. In this video, we will see what is unit testing, test driven development, and the benefits of testing. Unit testing is a software testing method. During each individual unit of code is tested to confirm that it is behaving as expected. This is done by validating the return values with the known values for that input. The unit should be the smallest testable piece of application, like a class or a function. Unit tests are small pieces of code that tests the application code. Each test case should be independent from other tests or units. The goal is to isolate each part of the application to show that individual parts are correct. The unit tests provide a strict contract which must be satisfied. Test Driven Development TDD, is a style of programming where coding, testing and design happens in the same process. It defines the cycle where developer writes a failing unit test, writes enough code to make the test pass and then refactors the code. All the steps are important and should not be skipped. Writing a failing unit test makes sure that your test is correct. If the test is passing when it shouldn't, then your test is broken or your application already has that functionality. Writing enough code to pass the test makes sure you won't waste time writing complex solutions. For example, you are writing a calculator and the only thing you want to test is that SUM method with 1 and 1 returns 2. Your code for SUM method would be just return 2. Your brain might be screaming that that is not correct and it should be implemented to SUM any value. It is correct if the only operation you would do is the SUM of 1 and 1. It is better to move to writing code which provides more value to the business. I would suggest to watch the following testing kata videos. The language used is PHP, but what is important to take from them is how your mind should think when using test-driven deployment. Refactoring means that your code is changed to make sure it's easy to understand and maintain. During this setup, you remove duplication, move code around, change variable names. The before and after might be like comparing day and night. You don't need to be afraid of making changes because if after refactoring all your tests pass, you haven't broken anything. During this step, you remove duplication, move code around, change variable names. Don't get too attached to the tests and vanity metrics. If the test is not providing any value, it's fine to remove it. Unit testing provides a lot of benefits. You can find problems early while it is cheap to fix them. You can get better understanding how the unit works as you need to think about it before writing code. When the bug is found, you should start with writing a unit test for it and only then fixing the bug. This approach makes sure that the bug won't be introduced again. You are confident that everything is working correctly when extending functionality or refactoring the code. Unit tests provide the documentation on how units work. By reading the tests, developers can learn how to use it. 
tests define how the unit should behave, not how it should be implemented. Testing provides the increase in focus and productivity as your tasks are split into smaller tasks. The confidence provided by the tests allow you to experiment. Not everything is positive, and you should keep the following in mind. Working unit tests doesn't mean that errors won't happen or that the application as a whole will work. Tests can be buggy, in which case providing the false confidence of everything working correctly. This is the reason why you always make sure that your test is failing first. The tests will require the extra time to write them. This will be balanced out as you will be spending less time debugging to fix the bugs. Some might look at writing tests as a waste of time. Fixing bugs provides a false sense of productivity than having no bugs at all. Writing tests shouldn't be looked at as a different task from writing code. The code should be a single task which includes tests and code. You will be testing your code. The question is, will it be done manually or automatically? Congratulations, now you know enough to start with automatic testing. In this video, we learned what is unit testing, what is test-driven development, and what benefits testing provides.